Hey guys, Double Wide Six. I haven't made a video for a pretty long time. Just been busy with family stuff. Uh, recently got back from the shore for a couple days. So I'm um, just kind of settling down for summer here. And uh, I have a little project I want to show you. There's a drill I got from my father and I guess he got it from my grandfather. And it is not working so we're going to take a look at it. So here's a look at the drill. Basically it's a Craftsman 3 8 inch. Uh, it has a keyed chuck. It's an older drill. Um, as I said, uh, it was my grandfather's, Joe Miller. As you can see his initials there. I think he passed away about 2003 or so. And uh, my father had this thing, and it doesn't work. You plug it in, and it's dead. So um, my dad gave it to me and asked me to take a look at it, see if I could figure out what's wrong with it. So uh, that's what this video is about. We're going to open this thing up and see if we can't find what's wrong. So looks like there's some screws on the front. There's four Phillips heads. And... In these recesses there's some more screws so I'm just gonna uh, pull the screws out and uh, we'll take a look at it so I pulled out the screws it's nice when they're just Phillips head and not Torx and all that other crazy bits uh, but anyhow uh, there's this oh, there we go plastic cover and that's going to come off and it, I can already see what's going on here I think come on camera looks like we have a crushed wire which is kind of strange um, this white wire it looks like it's supposed to track down here maybe where this red wire is I wonder my grandfather could fix like anything I, I wonder if he didn't work on this at one time because this just seems like an odd thing to have happen from straight out of a manufacturing plant so I've never been in this drill I don't know if he ever has but you can tell that this wire got smashed between the plastic clamshells. So, uh, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm like 90% sure that's probably our problem. So, uh, we're going to go ahead, repair that wire, and we'll see if uh, that solves the problem. If not, we'll look elsewhere. So, there's probably a couple ways I could splice this wire but I think I just want to replace it if I can slip the end of this wire out of the terminal seems like it wants to come out there we go so I'm gonna back that wire out of here pull it through that sleeve and then go down and it looks like it connects to the bottom of the switch down there on the bottom right so I'm just going to try and back feed this and it runs down to the bottom I'm going to mark this with a little scratch just so I remember where it goes That baby's in there pretty good. Um, let me take a look at this. So after taking a good look at this thing, I can't just slip this wire out and I'm afraid I might damage the switch. So I'm going to use uh, just a, a crimping wire connector. And it looks like I have plenty of room if I keep this down here. So I'm going to cut this white wire and crimp it and add a uh, new white wire that runs up to the top. 
So here's what we have so far. I crimped this end on here, the wire connector. And I've taken a new wire and I've tinned the end with some solder. So that way this is nice and stiff. And what I'm hoping to do is just pressure fit this in this terminal right here. All right, there seems like there's a uh, metal terminal or clip here. So, looks like it's a little bit spring-loaded. Just trying to work that wire in there uh, the best I can. So now I'm gonna take the back end of the wire. They have a little bit of uh, insulation here. I'm just going to try and feed the wire through there. There we go. And we're going to snake this thing down to our blue terminal connector. All right, I routed the wire it's actually this one here it's, it's not this one it goes underneath and then it's coming out down here and right here is where we're going to crimp our final connection and I'm hoping then we'll be in business alright I got lucky that there was kind of like a, a good sized pocket to drop this uh, crimp connector in there. As you can see, it's a pretty good fit. So I got it all back together, and this here is, uh, I guess, the moment of truth. So let's see what we get here. things bent here we go all right there we go reverse looks like it has a lot Well, there you go. So it usually doesn't take too much to uh, fix these things. So it's, you know, it's worth taking a look at. I think I might have a keyless chuck, so maybe I'll put that on there, make this drill a little bit more 21st century. So we'll quick change out the chuck in here. This drill has a uh, standard uh, screw um, and these are reverse threaded so there's a screw in here that you got to pull out. It's a reverse threaded machine screw and you don't want to lose it or break it because you're going to need it for your next chuck. So pop that out of there. I'll keep it right on the magnet so I don't lose it. And then to get the chuck out, um, you need, well you can use an Allen wrench. I usually just use an impact. So we'll clamp that bit in there. This drill's half plastic so you'll notice I'm clamping the metal in the vise. So we'll snug this guy up pretty good. And I don't know if my battery powered impact is going to have the power to pop this thing off. But uh, let me grab my glasses and we'll try it.
All right, we're on reverse. That's how you remove the chuck. So we'll just drop our screw in here. And you just want to remember that this screw is like left threaded. So you got to loosen it to tighten it. All right. All right, guys, got it all finished up. And as you can see, the uh, truck is working real well. This uh, drill, it's so old that you actually have to oil it. I put a little oil in it. And, uh, yeah, it should be a good drill. So I'm happy I took the time to take a look at it. Um, anyhow, I'm double wide six, and I have a whole bunch of repair videos on my channel you can check out. Um, I'm going to put a link today on the video to my automatic wire stripper by Vice Grip. I use these all the time. Used them for this project. I'd recommend it. Um, I also have this multimeter and uh, didn't have to use it for this project, but I had it out because I thought I would. But we got lucky with this one with the uh, broken wire. Anyhow, if you haven't subscribed, I'm going to ask that I can earn your subscription. I'm going to be posting probably more regularly videos over the next few weeks because I do have quite a few projects lined up here. So thanks for watching. Click on the link below, check out the tools, and have a great day.